Hi, I'm Katie from What Katie Did, and today I'm going to show you some of my collection of monowire bras. Now, my love of monowire bras actually predates What Katie Did. I used to work uh, for Skin 2, which used to be at the top of Ladbroke Grove, just up the road from where our shop is now in Portobello Road. And Fridays was and still is vintage day. And before I went, before I started work at Skin 2, I used to walk up and down Portobello Road and see what goodies I could find. And one day there was this lady there selling vintage lingerie and I found, I found these two pieces. And it was, it was the first time I, I saw a monowide bra and I was absolutely captivated by them. And they, they were quite expensive at the time, but I, I invested in them and I, I have worn them an awful lot. And they're still some of my favourite pieces today, so they, they were well worth buying at the time. Now, my favourite piece is this sheer black bra here. And you can see it's got a very, a very strong mono wire bra going all the way up along the bottom. And it, it hardly bends, with, it bends a little bit, but it's actually more comfortable to wear than what you'd think. And what I really love about it is it's lined in velvet here, not only on the mono wire, but on the inside of the straps. And this is the first time I saw, you know, the straps being lined in velvet. And it's obviously not, not for the person looking at the bra, it's for the person wearing it for the comfort. And I found that really captivating. It's a one piece construction with just a dart here at the bottom and a dart at the side to bring the, to bring the breast in a little bit. And um, this, is, this is one of my favorite pieces. It's made in France. And it's a 38B and, you know, because bands were a little bit smaller at that time, I could get away with wearing it. Unfortunately, it's too big for me now, so I haven't worn it recently, but it remains a treasured piece in my collection. The second one, a wire bra, is, was purchased at the same time and it was from the same stall in Portobello Road and it was owned by the same French lady. So it makes these two bras quite special to me. It has a different one, a wire bra here. It's got a little U, U in the centre here. And when you find people doing mono wide bras today, they tend to have a, li a little U in the middle as opposed to the deep, the deep underwire there, mono wire that you see in the sheer version. Again, the, the straps are lined in velvet, which is that secret luxury touch. And the underwires are completely lined in velvet too, which makes it really special. The third piece I've got to show you is again, another French piece. And to begin with, this, look, this bra looks quite simple. It's made from um, a simple nylon cup and it looks quite utilitarian. But if you look more closely, the underwires are again lined in velvet and the sides, bang, the wings here, are made from a very luxurious heavyweight satin, which makes it quite special. Now these three bras I've shown you were all made in France and I thought that the monowire bra was something unique to France, to French bras. So I was quite excited when Hannah in our Burbank boutique, who is an avid thrift shopper and she goes to an awful lot of estate fairs, she picked up this bra for next to nothing and it's made in the USA. It's quite interesting because it is called Mamselle, so it has that French, French twist to it, but it was made in the USA and it has a mono wire, which is very, very similar to my, my favourite piece, the first one I showed you. Very, very similar indeed. It's, it's almost identical. And again, it has, it has the velvet lined here on the mono wire for comfort. It doesn't have the velvet lined straps this time. They're just simple gross grain ribbon. But it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting piece because it opened up a whole new world for me for mono wire bras. Hannah's bra has actually inspired our new X bra, which I've spoken about in another video. And it's got this fancy trim at the top, which I really, really liked. So it's got like a um, half inch section of a contrasting fabric to line the top of the cuffs. And for our new X bra, we've taken this and used the same feature on our X bra. Unfortunately, it wasn't possible to do a mono wire for our X bra. So we've used, taken inspiration from this bra here, which is a bra I picked up from Play Clothes, a vintage store in Burbank and it's fastened in the middle of the bra by just this X of ribbon. 
which is still still the myth is still used today in some modern bras, but it shows that it it does go back to the 50s. And you can see here that we've used the same method on our new X bra here. That's just some of my collection of mono Y bras, and I, I hope to be able to show you more in the future. So keep watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care.